Alrighty guys, welcome back. Earlier we were talking about uh, UFC 300 and now we're going to be diving into our dating horror stories for the week. So. <laughs> <laughs> I took a <laughs> took a quick bathroom trip, <laughs> and I always I always forget that um, when I do this show, most of the time it's business up top and casual down <laughs> at the bottom. And so when I get up to go to the bathroom, take and always see my my PJ pants. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. It's so guys. Yeah, and it's just funny because she just has regular pajama bottoms. It's, mm -hmm. It sounds kind of funny saying pajama bottoms, right? Yeah. You know, just, like, <laughs> how do you describe them as like? They're just PJs, you know, yeah. They're just flannel PJs, kind of. <laughs> flannel, right? What? Are, what? Are, what kind of no, material would you say that? I wouldn't say flannel, cotton, I, cotton, yes. polyester. I don't so know. So you don't realize <laughs> that faith, faith is just made up, waist up, <laughs> neck. Professional on the top, nap time on the bottom. Yeah, that's 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 what, that's what I say about faith. I'm fully dressed. Yeah, it makes so. it easier for when the show's over with, and I get I take my my morning nap after the show's over with. So I all I have to do is change my top instead of <laughs> the whole Everything. shindig. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, so let's Kate's see what what, what you have for me. Yes. Okay. So we got this, let's see, what's this subreddit? Um, oh, this is from Singapore. Okay. This is oh. the subreddit of Ask Singapore. Um, but we got- I Place got I, wanna, I, I wanna go to. I, I think mm -hmm. it's, Singapore is the safest country in the world, I think right is it? now. Oh, I didn't yes. know that. Yes, you, 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 nothing is, I think last year, I think Singapore was one, Portugal was two or one, Portugal is one of the safest countries in the world as well, but mm -hmm. Singapore, Singapore is like next level safe. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, well, here is a dating horror story from this subreddit. Um, matched with this guy on Tinder and we started talking for a week before deciding to meet up. We decided to watch a movie together. He wanted to hold my hands in the movie, which I was okay with because I thought there was potential. Um, I was dumb. Okay, guys. Ha ha ha. Um, after the movie, we went to uh, Changi Village for supper and had a nice walk by the beach. Um, at that point, I thought the date went well, but suddenly he knelt on one knee and proposed. I'm... Whoa, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, all right. Whoa. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry about that. You, yeah. this... okay. Keep on, keep on firing, girl. Keep on um, firing. I was dumbfounded. He said he felt an instant connection with me after he met me and wanted me to be his wife. He said he always carries this ring around in case he found someone that he wants to marry. I informed him nicely that it is too soon for that because we only just met. He looked disappointed. Um, I told him we should give ourselves a bit more time to get to know each other. Um, I ghosted him a week after because he texted me and said um, he told his mother about me and his mother approved of me <laughs> wow oh yeah and then you go uh, see i don't approve of the ghosting <sighs> that's, that's just looks bad he's like mom i found the girl i'm gonna marry uh when do i get to meet her oh yeah she's gonna be coming over let me text her nothing you mm -hmm. never hear from her again so i don't approve of the ghosting part but i also say run force run yeah. Listen, if you 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 carrying a, a, a an engagement ring around like you've carrying around your iPhone, <laughs> there's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, wait a minute, I can't leave. I got I left my phone in the in the in, uh, in the house. I gotta go get my phone before we leave. No, it's like, hey, it's I, got, I, I forgot my engagement ring, dog. I got. I'll be right back. Got to go get that engagement ring. <laughs> if you're, you don't even have a girlfriend, but you got an engagement ring. Hey, I will say this. At least he is a man who's not afraid of commitment. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. There's one defense He's for him. He's a man <laughs> that has mental problems. <laughs> if you are, listen, Faith. If you walking around before you even have a girlfriend, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. with an engagement ring, don't want to leave home without it. You sitting down. I'm not saying it's right. <laughs> Faith, you sitting down watching the brand new Beetlejuice movie about to come out. Y'all sitting there and move the hand over. I, you know, hold your hand afterwards. Will you marry me? Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know if I want Chipotle with you. Let her alone. <laughs> Am I, right? I don't even know if I want to go to Chipotle with you or split a five dollar foot long or whatever they cost no, now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guy, once again, everybody should have at least a little game. Mm -hmm. And in the book of game, what chapter 14, verse 12 says. Thou shall not walk around life carrying a damn ring in your pocket when you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the whole like Bible chapter and verse thing. <laughs> you should not be walking around with, with a ring and you don't have a girlfriend. Yeah. Leave that I... sucker at home. Put it behind the pillow somewhere. This is my red flag. <laughs> Flying my red flag. Yeah. Because it's a red flag because that's like blood red. If you say yes and then you leave him, you don't know what he's going to do. If he's carrying a ring with you, I don't care what he looks like. You got you got to leave him alone. Matter of fact, you know, I take it back. She had the right to ghost him. The fact yeah. that she stayed with him longer, <laughs> yeah. she stayed with him a while, like a few days. Yeah. I knew this guy. And if I told the story already, he was horrible with girls. And so I got him a blind date. Did I tell the story? Uh, I don't know. And I told him, like, when you go on this date, don't call her the next day. Wait oh, 24 yes. hours. Yeah. You know, he kept calling. Those pe people like that, you can't you scare fix. people away. <laughs> you scare them even away if she, when you do that. Even if she thinks, even if it's like, you know what? This could be the one. This is the greatest guy ever. And he comes to you, Faith, and says, after six hours on a date, here's a ring. Oh, I carry this with me just in case I find the perfect woman. Here you go. No. First off, you put no thought into it. It'd be different if he was like, this is my great grandpappy's ring that he gave to my, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know. And so he gave it to my grandma and I want you to have it. No, this is, I bought this ring and I carry this sucker with me everywhere, just in case. I'm telling you right now, this ain't the first time he kicked that ring out. No, absolutely not, come on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think he's kicked that ring out a few times. No. Mm -mm. Also, like, not not everyone has the same ring size. Not everybody has the same ring style. Like, what what's going to happen if, like, he goes on a date and some crazy lady just happens to say yes and the ring oh, doesn't rings, fit? Rings can, get, rings can get resized. That's, no, that's not the issue. The issue is mental. The fact of the matter is... <laughs> My my man is carrying a wedding ring around him. He's hook, he's date, he's asking girls out on Tinder. Tinder now, you understand? This isn't like, hey, I met her on Tinder. We're on our forty fifth date, <laughs> and <laughs> and forty six is my lucky number. So I'm gonna yeah. propose to her. We've been doing the we've been dating for the last 12 months. You haven't even made it the last 12 hours. <laughs> I don't care what movie, he, she said they went to a movie, he tried to hold their hand and then afterwards he proposed. Mm -hmm. Even if it's Dancing with Wolves, that's three and a half hours. Avatar, hey, three and a half hours. At least he took her to like a nice place to do it. They went to the beach. 
you know, you know, he proposed to her at the beach. At least it's a nice proposal. <laughs> it's, it's Singapore. Beaches are everywhere. That's like me saying, hey, I took her to the beach. Well, that's just right over here. It's not like he went out the way. The fact is, he's carrying a ring. That's where I have the problem. Yeah. And then the fact that she let that slide and they kept on. And then you were right. Hey, I told mama about you. Mama approves of you. Does mama know you just met her on Tuesday? Does mama <laughs> know that you're absolutely insane? <laughs> Can't be. Ugh. Am I am I off on any of this? No, if you you're disagree not. with me, please. No. This is not this is not showing that a guy can commit. This shows that a guy should be committed. There's a difference between the two. You understand the difference. I understand how they can be confusing. Commit commitment is, hey, we've been going out for a while. I really like you. I want us to, you know, be exclusive. Mm -hmm. I'm not I don't want to see anybody else but you, but I want to get to know you more. This guy doesn't even care about who you are or what you're like, because you can't know anyone in the time it would take you to go to a movie and go to the beach. Mm -hmm. You can't get to know anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry. And the fact that you brought- Yeah. Okay. Listen, there... you're always the guy who's defending the person who's in the wrong. So I was like, well, hey, oh, at no. least like there's <laughs> this guy- is like... I am not always defending the guy that's in the wrong. I just look at both sides of the story. And I was looking at both sides <laughs> of the story. At least, you know, he's not afraid of commitment if he's ready to kneel down and propose to you after, you know, after the first date. <laughs> and he took you okay, somewhere fair. nice to do it at least. If someone goes on, sometimes when a girl goes on a date, she shaves her legs. Yes. If she shaves her legs, a lot of times she's like mm -hmm. something, something that could opens go the door. down. It opens the door. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something could go down. That's a pre thought out plan before anything ever comes into play. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking the yep. truth on this one. Mm -hmm. What is that? Okay, so something was thought about beforehand. When a guy shows up on a first date with a wedding ring, <laughs> he's been thinking about other things way before. It wasn't you that he wants to get. He wants to get married to almost anyone, not you, mm -hmm. anyone, because he had never met you before he actually brought the ring with him. Mm -hmm. There was a pre-plan before it ever kicked in. He came in with a, a with a plan. Sometimes people come in with a plan for certain things. He came in with a plan of wanting to get married and find trying to find someone desperate enough to do it. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. All right, you got you got any uh, comments on this one? Um, someone said, "Is this guy serious or not?" Proposed on first date. He must be charmed by you. <laughs> Trauma in another form. <laughs> Charm. Unless that photo, that photo, that she must have did one. That She had AI, CGI, <laughs> and everything else on that photo. Because right, you don't think somebody would be pretty enough to be asked to be married to on the first no. date? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Zero. There is no, I, listen, I have seen not I've even seen some if it was women. not even if it was Mama Kardashian. Okay, let me let, let's talk about this for a second. <laughs> let's talk about this. Is she willing? Is, do I have to sign a prenup? <laughs> I ain't a, it can be I Mama can't. or daughter Kardashian. Do I have to sign a prenup? If I got to sign a prenup, up, we got to date a little bit longer. <laughs> but if I don't have to sign a prenup, I'm in. <laughs> See, I got him right there, guys. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's like you threw up Mama Kardashian. I do, I do think Mama Kardashian kind of fine. And it's weird to think Mama and daughter mm -hmm. are cute. That's just creepy, right? 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny because you, you know, on Friday we talked about OJ all the way into the Kardashians today mm -hmm. coming full circle. First full circle. So. Okay. <laughs> Anything else with this one? Um, I mean, somebody else said maybe he's new to the dating world, hence why he thinks it's okay. Or maybe he was blinded by you and was swept off his feet. <laughs> now, see, that's like, if you believe that, that's how divorce happens. It's like, oh, he, they, you know, if she said yes, you know she's going to tell the story. Oh, it was love at first sight. We had to do this. No, you didn't. You can think about these things. If 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 I'm if I'm swiping left, if I'm if, at nine forty five, I'm I'm swiping left and right, and at ten fifteen, <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting married. That's listen, not a, that's not a successful recipe. Listen, I believe in the thing of love of love at first sight, but you got to give it some time, okay? Because I my boyfriend, it was love at first sight for me. But we've been together for a year and a half, and we're not married, and there's no wait, I, wait, wait. plans so, of marriage oh, soon. <laughs> on that first date, if he'd have came out with a ring, would you accept it? No, because I'm not crazy. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, I'm married, and I would be like, nope. Matter of fact, <laughs> that's the end of the date, and there's no more dates. After that, I'm sorry, yeah. you're moving way too fast. <laughs> I'm in the slow lane. Yeah. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out like a light during Christmas. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, guys. Well, with that, we're going to close out our show for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show presented by the GSMC Sports Network. Your support means a lot to us, so please remember to subscribe to the show and leave a positive review. It really does make a difference. We also invite you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content updates. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to.